it's no, not a coincidence that um, um, every terroristic act, almost every terroristic act aimed and based on this fascist book, uh, the Quran, and this wrong ideology, um, the Islam, um, unfortunately, um, has been done um, by people but from this was a Islamic. Handful compared to you know hundreds of hundreds of well, millions. Well, unf unfortunately, it is not a handful. Uh, it is a growing minority who find their inspiration in this Islam. I hate political correctness in a way that I'm not a cultural relativist. I don't believe that cultures are equal. I believe that our culture is far better than a retarded. Islamic culture. I believe that we are You're calling that we the Islamic strive. culture retarded. It is. It is. Look at how you in this culture women's words uh, at home or around the world will absolutely go crazy when you hear that. Well, um, um, uh, this is not my aim, but um, 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 I give you an honest answer about what I believe. You don't know. You don't know what the movie would be like. Um, uh, and maybe some people uh, would get offended. It's not my aim to offend people. My aim um, they might be offended. I know that. I acknowledge that. It's not the aim of the movie, but it might be. So, what the hell? It's their problem. It's not my problem. You know, just in these last couple of minutes, you've offended about 1.5 billion people on this planet. I mean, well, I'm absolutely, actually, absolutely outrageous, outrageous, not necessarily wrong or right, but outrageous that you, that you were saying that. Well, somebody um, should say it. I'm, I believe I'm not, uh, luckily, I'm not uh, the only one, but I make, of course, I make a distinction between the religion and the people. Um, I have... Uh, big problems with the Islam. Uh, I have big problems with this ideology, this religion. But I'm not saying that all the people who call themselves Muslims um, are wrong. Of course, also the majority of the Muslims living in the Netherlands um, are not terrorists. Um, unfortunately, a growing minority, not only in the Netherlands, but all over the world, uh, the growing minority of Muslims is taking a radical and extremist stand. Um, so I make a distinction, which is, of course for some people is hard to understand, but I make a distinction between the religion. I don't believe in a moderate Islam. I don't believe what some people call the European a Islam. A I don't think there will be, and if there will be in time a moderate Islam, it will be in two or three thousand years, and we cannot afford to wait. It's five minutes to twelve, as we say in the Netherlands. But I do believe in people, which means that if Muslims try and really want to assimilate in the Dutch society, they have to, you will, they have to get rid of the tough and intolerant and fascist parts of the Quran, but if they want to assimilate and take our values to their values, of course I have nothing against them. They are worth and have chances as much as you and me or any other. Well, Mr. Wilders, let, well, let's start with this movie that we've been hearing about. Is it a movie about the Quran, about Islam? Or what, what's going on with this? Well, um, Quran is Islam, um, unfortunately. So um, it's about both, but uh, the main issue is the book, um, fascist book, the Quran. Um, and what I want to show with this movie, what I already did, both in Parliament uh, as in some articles I published in newspapers, is to show the people that uh, many verses from many surahs um, are very bad indeed, and still, even today, I'm not talking about centuries uh, ago, um, are inspiring people um, to do the worst, often implemented in laws in many countries in the Middle East, uh, but once again also in Europe or in the United States is inspiring people to do the worst things, and this is what I want to show why we should get rid of this terrible book. Is this movie finished? Is it ready to, to be aired? No, I'm in the process, um, as we are talking, in, uh, in making uh, this uh, short movie. It's about uh, 10 minutes' time. And uh, well, I hope to finish it uh, uh, within the next few weeks. Next few weeks. And it'll yeah. be airing on where? Dutch television or internet? Well, or? I'm negotiating with uh, uh, Dutch programs, um, uh, television stations. They are not all too eager um, to broadcast it uh, without seeing it uh, before, which I can understand. So as soon as I've finished it, I will uh, show it to uh, a few um, of our television stations, hoping uh, that one of them uh, will broadcast it. I'm, uh, but it's really happening. Some people say, oh, it's a bluff. Oh, he's just talking about it for a publicity uh, statement. <laughs> well, wait and see. But why would you do it? You know what kind of reaction. The, the advance word already is that there could be riots in the streets if you do something like that. Well, this proves my point uh, even more, that it's uh, needed a lot um, to, uh, to make such a movie. Um, indeed, only um, uh, the pronunciation that I was going to make a movie uh, was already um, um, the Dutch government uh, panicking, talking with imams all over the country, uh, Muslim groups threatening to go to court to prevent the movie 
uh, being uh, published, um, as if we have no um, uh, freedom of speech uh, in the Netherlands. So all the reactions uh, before even the movie is finished, let alone broadcasted on television, uh, proves my point exactly that it's um, very needed to make a movie and that, uh, uh, well, people could, uh, should bear some criticism also in the Muslim community. People will admit that there is a real clash of civilizations going on right now, but isn't your kind of rhetoric, your kind of discussion, just fanning the flames, burning uh, on this issue? Now listen, we tried for, um, uh, for many um, uh, decades um, uh, in Europe, um, we tried it the other way. Uh, we tried it uh, to do it with dialogue. Um, we tried it um, to do it by accepting other cultures, by calling them equal, um, by saying that everything is allowed. Um, a, few, a few years ago in the Netherlands only said that it's wrong that people have five times more a social benefit if they are from Moroccan origin. You're almost called a fascist, which, which is totally nonsense. So we are politically correct. We tried, we tried it every time, every day again. And politicians who invented the multicultural society of course, I'm not eager to admit that they were wrong, that there at least are also backsides of this concept of multicultural society and cultural relativism, except, except, especially if you do it our way, and like the way in the United States, where at least people have an incentive to go to work, to integrate. If not, you face your own problems, which is totally different in the Netherlands, besides the fact that we have totally different kinds of immigrants um, from the mountains of Morocco or from countries where... Um, they go to the United States. It's, it's not to be compared. The, the concept of immigrants in the United States and Europe and the Netherlands is totally, totally different. People have the image of Holland as kind of a model of multiculturalism, as kind of low-key politics, uh, basically uh, people getting along, living um, among each other. What, what are you saying? That, that's, that's, that's just the facade and the reality is something else? Well, I don't, um, 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 uh, Netherlands, uh, I mean, the multicultural, multicultural problem uh, brought us um, all the problems. And not only the fact that those people came here, but that um, you, you cannot even blame, blame all the individuals to come to a country where they can have a better life. But unlike, for instance, the United States, uh, we pampered all those people. We have a, a real um, um, perverse social security system. And people um, even get more social benefit than when they work um, at the minimum wage. So there's not, totally no economical incentive um, to get the best out of yourself and to, to work, to work. To, and if you work, you assimilate, you get friends, you have something to be proud of, you, 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 you use the, the, the values, you, you share the values more often. If you don't, if you give people housing without any uh, pay, if you give uh, people a social benefit, if you don't tell them that um, uh, to beat up your wife or to let your wife uh, or your young uh, uh, daughter not work in the Dutch society, uh, that it's wrong, that uh, it's not okay if your son beats up homosexuals on Saturday evening in Amsterdam. If you don't do that, you get into trouble. So it's not only those persons who are doing that, but it's also in the last decades the Dutch politicians that were responsible, that they allowed it to happen, that they never said stop. Um, it's our country, we are the boss, it's our values. If you want to come and stay here, that's okay, but only if you adhere to our values, to our principle and our law and constitution. And unfortunately, that is not happening. So with all the tolerance we are having, unfortunately, we are also tolerant to the intolerant. We should learn to start being intolerant to the people who are intolerant to us. This would be the best lesson for the Dutch government to learn.